I always forget about that. Never mind, maybe I will listen to that Nickelback album. Oh no, here we go, I found it. Did I find it? Did I find the whole thing? Yeah, no, this is it. Okay. I could listen to Magic by Bruce Springsteen, but I don't think so. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful. I feel like that might be a fun podcast, similar to Horns, your friend's joke about the the uh, best work of media that has Kane in the title. Is compare two things like that, like do an episode of the podcast comparing Magic by Bruce Springsteen to Magical Mystery Tour by the Beatles. I think that's a fun idea. Oh, I didn't even check what my new place is on the leaderboard. Would somebody mind looking at the leaderboard and telling me where a 3949 puts me? I think before the big gap, I bopped Katie JX and Kara. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I was gonna say, I think the big gap before Luca is at like a 41. Which I think is Noya? I think Noya's currently sitting at 11th. Nice bonk. I'm losing like five seconds in the stone hill. No, it's only three seconds. I'm fine. All of your takes are so good. Horns. I know this might be hard to accept, but would you be willing to consider that your worst take is your Survivor Seasons tier list? Okay, that's Aqua's work worst take, I, I think. Horns, do you think it's possible? that your worst take is liking the music of Bruce Springsteen at all. <laughs> Bruce good, I see. Speaking of worst Beatles songs, I'm listening to what might be my favorite Beatles song, Fool on the Hill. I love this song. I am a very different person than I was as a teenager, but I like this song just as much as I did when I was like 14. I love this song so much. Fool on the Hill is amazing. <laughs> Phoenix's biggest complaint will be Thailand is too high to take this list seriously, I see. I don't know when I'm gonna hang out with Phoenix again. I'm busy moving this week and... I don't know, it's just been a while. Do need to find time to make that happen. I also need to find time to hang out with Sarah because it's legally mandated that Sarah and I hang out sometime soon. And we've been avoiding that court order.
I'd rather get their their opinion over a voice call. So it may be a bit, but I will remember. I I want to hear their reaction live. Horns, go to bed. <laughs> Please. I don't want to keep you up forever. needed that guy. I'll get him like that. Most music that isn't battle is boring? You're right, Mole. You're absolutely right, that is your worst take. I really wish I could get into metal. I, I need to try more. I need to expose myself to more of it. Now is closer to the Big Bang than Horn's going to bed. Whoa! Fun facts about the history of space and time. And also about keep your horns on. But yeah, like, I know a bunch of people who are into metal. And... Oop. Uh, uh... Shocked that worked. And like, I appreciate that it's very impressive music. And I just don't really enjoy listening to it. Not none of it. There has been metal that I've liked, but like, very little. But again, I just, I haven't listened to that much. And there's a lot of things that I didn't like until I listened to more of it, so... I'd like to, to go through my, uh... My, my metal introduction eventually. And come out enjoying it more. Oh, right, I messed up. I messed up, I'm sorry. I was thinking, I got Mama Proxy, and no, not... Not in the right way, I didn't. Although, actually, the specific way that I failed Mama Proxy means that I should be getting more gems, even though I'm losing time here. I think I ended up getting, like, an extra 20 gems because of it. So it's not all bad. really wanted to land on that 10. Oh well. Oh my god. Sorry, I just missed like 10 very easy gems that I should have missed zero of. Oh well. That's what happens with Spyro. Wait, am I losing like loads of time here? No, I guess not. I just overestimated how long the end of level would take. Oh gosh. Oh my god, I made it. Okay, we're fine. Should get that easy 25, maybe. Maybe I should go back for it right now. 
It's probably still worth it, right? Just re-enter Shemp from here. I mean, I, I feel like so much of music is like this, you know? I used to think rap was, like, uh, confusing. Like, clearly there was a lot of impressive writing in there, but I could barely understand any of it. And then I listened to a bunch more rap, and now I can understand and appreciate and enjoy rap a lot more. And, like, part of that is just getting used to hearing and parsing a voice that way, but part of it is just listening to it more. I, I think that's true of every every genre of music. I didn't used to be that into, like, pop music until I listened to a bunch of it. I thought, I used to think it's like, oh, it all sounds the same, it's all really similar, it's all cheesy and bad and whatever, and then I listened to more of it and heard more of the differences and what people were going for and understood the influences. It's all just about exposure. It's too bad I flopped there. I could have saved quite a bit more time. Thank you for the raid. We PB'd before this. But I think we can do it again, because it was only by a few seconds. How was your stream, Forlo, assuming you're not caught in an ad? I hope it went well. How are you doing? We, we've been talking about bad music takes in stream today. Still only percent some Vortex? Nice, nice. Why have I... Why am I doing this? I genuinely don't understand what I'm doing wrong there. I've been bonking on that magic stair so often lately, and it's not a problem one. Like, it's... Okay, when you're new at this, it can be a little tricky to do those magic stairs, but like, not failing them the way that I am. The way that I'm failing them is weird and wrong. Do I... No, I shouldn't reset. I really want to, but... Your bad music take is that anything I listen to is Pog. That's a pretty bad take, gonna be honest. I'm listening to Magical Mystery Tour right now and just absolutely loving it. And yeah, enjoying Magical Mystery Tour. What a garbage take. <laughs>
come on. <laughs> oh, that chest only has a blue. I've been missing that chest a lot lately, and I thought it had a gold. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I lost a bunch of time here in that run. No, I guess I didn't lose that much time. I just lo I just dropped a bunch of gems. That's what happened. Yep. It was particularly this guy. I missed that 10 right near the end and took note of how much of a problem that really was. If I understand you right, uh, Aqua, that already exists. Do you mean categories for, like, get all of the metal chests, get all the wooden baskets, get all of the strong chests, all of the key chests, etc.? Yeah, those exist on the category extension spreadsheet. I don't know that anybody's run most of them. There's also already a pink gem percent, which has been run and has been tasked and is actually a pretty cool category. As well as the other gem values of so just like collect all the red gems in the game. Red Spring Chest Percent also exists both with and without cheats. I wonder if anybody has run Red Spring Chest Percent in the prototype that has more than one. Hashtag gem collector. Come on, get out of there. Ah. Almost. If I didn't mess up that pause, that might have been a tiny, tiny gold. Actually, if I didn't bonk, that definitely would have been a gold, so... I got time to save there, that's, that's the important thing. Oh, that's right, I lost some time here futzing around with the spring chests. So, you know, I shouldn't do that again. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if we could do a speedrun, except you just, like, don't make any mistakes and don't mess up at all and don't lose time? Sure. Is 
see, I should come out in the green here. Oh, I had a lot of time to save there. Nice. Even more, because my exit from High Caves was kind of bad. Okay. Okay, Mr. Druid. Oh god, no, camera, no. I didn't- I don't know if I even got it. God damn it. <laughs> That's too bad. Big time loss. Maybe more time loss right here? We'll see. We'll see if I at least got the skip. I did get the skip. That's nice. That's really convenient. Hello. Goodness. Good blowhard. Good, good blowhard. Should have caught that pink gem at the end, but... Would have saved a little more time. Good blowhard, though. Sub-23. It's not the end of the world. We're doing alright. 20 seconds by best pace, and pretty much all of that was Cliff Town. I feel like I am, in general, just getting more gems this run than last run. So hopefully I will just be significantly better off going into shock.
Okay, now bog can be kind of a problem level. We'll see what happens here. I mean, honestly, <laughs> treetops and metalhead can too, all in their own ways. This is another good run. It's a good pace, but uh, you know, no promises. Unfortunately, it would be irresponsible of me to promise a PB. Eat that. I'm not supposed to charge jump that. <coughs> that was dumb of me. Oh well. No, why? <laughs> It was such a good bog up until those stairs at the end. Still a gold! God, I can gold that by like five more seconds at least. That was a kinda lousy bog for a gold. It was good by my standards, but bad by good standards. <laughs> Nope. No! Turn around, turn around, turn around. Really need that. Sozero. Thank you, thank you for the GL and or the HF. Hope you're doing well. 
We just PB'd earlier tonight, so, uh... Seeing if we can get another one, because it still wasn't great. I lost a ton of time at the end of Dreamweavers. Let's see what, what happens right here. This is going to be a deciding thing. Okay. Oh, well. I need to get better at actually getting that fan chest. Also, if I can get the, uh, the out-of-bounds here, that'll save a bunch of time, but no guarantees on that. Nope. Didn't quite hit him into the right place. That's okay. those extra three. That really was not necessary. <laughs> right, Sparks is gone. <laughs> oh well, I'm ignoring that. I've gotten so many more gems than I normally do this run. I think I'm gonna be doing okay. <laughs> I'm gonna end up in the red after this level, but... I'm still gonna be fine. Fine in terms of pace. You know, we were talking about music takes earlier, and I've been listening to Magical Mystery Tour, and I don't know if I should consider this a bad take or not. It depends on who you ask, I guess. How am I not in the red? I lost so much time there. Anyway, um, the song All You Need Is Love. This is another strong contender for my favorite Beatles song. And it's not that that's a bad take, because, like, so many people like that song, but, like, I don't know, it feels like a really normie take, I guess. For someone like me who claims to love how weird the Beatles music got, saying All You Need Is Love might be my favorite song of theirs, saying one of the Beatles' most wildly popular songs might be my favorite song of theirs. I don't know. I just think it's funny. I don't think it's a bad pick. I think it's a great song, obviously. But, like, as someone who's like, yeah, I freaking love Blue Jay Way, that's up there for my favorite Beatles songs. Also, all you need is love. I think that's. Oh, god damn it, you're kidding. I think that's also just one of the things that I do like about the Beatles, and is one of the reasons that I do keep coming back to their music over the years, is I just like kind of everything. Almost everything. It's like the only Beatles song you know and you don't like it? Fair. People have opinions and that's okay.
Yo, Ash, thank you for the GL, and also for the GL. We PB'd earlier, and we might do it again. We'll see. We'll see what Tooth Roll does. And, gonna be honest, I might do another run after this. Because that's a PB, another run that is very PB paced late into the run, and neither of these feel like good runs. We'll see what the gem count does. Uh, gem count's good enough. As long as I don't blow, like, 12 seconds at the end of... Uh, at the end of Dreamweavers again. No, the bigger the bigger factor is definitely Tooth Roll. I mean, I could also just totally choke and shock. That still happens sometimes. That happens to good runners every once in a while. That was a weird way to handle all of that, but oh well. I kind of wanted that guy, actually. Do I need that guy? I don't think I need that guy. As long as I get the rest of the gems, I should be good. Shoot us every once in a while, yeah. <laughs> Jock feels like it should be so much easier than it is. It's like it's embarrassing how often I end up falling somewhere along the Jock chase. Three twenty four Yeah, this is fine. We're doing fine. Did somebody say Dreamweaver's gold? I think this might be the first run where I was able to just go straight to the Pollutist without getting any gems. Hmm. Top 10 is still out, but, uh... Eleventh should be open, if I'm remembering the leaderboard right. All comes down to Tooth Roll. And this, because I do keep messing this up somehow. Like, that was so low. What did I do? I know what I did that time in particular, but in general, it's silly to me how bad I have been at that. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. Nope. Okay, how about this one? Nope. Okay, how about this one? Nope. Okay, but have you considered uh, this one? Yes! I don't think this is gonna PB. <laughs> no, it's definitely not. That was too late. This is just barely... I think this might be... This might still beat my 3955, but uh, this is not going to PB. I think it's going to be just short. Might be like a 3950 or something. My best Nork ever? I guess I could. Actually, that was a really good push! Oh my god, oh my god. What? <laughs> Ridiculous. Cool. Neat. What a video game.
I have to do another run after that. You're right, Manly. You're right. I should have believed in you. I should have believed in the Manly. Oh my god, I died DZH, yo! Oh my god. That's big deal for me, honestly. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. That's like huge deal for me. Oh my god. Okay, so for some context. Obviously, Laura has inspired many, many people to run any percent in the last few years. The first time I ran any percent, uh, like the first time I really ran any percent, uh, back when I got like, god, what was the end of that grind? Like a 42 on PS1? It was because DZH inspired me. DZH used to be one of the people who like, any percent was his category. He. I think he also ran 120, but any percent was the one that he really cared about. Yeah, he's also got a 139 and 120. He was also the second one to do Coveless and Cheat Percent after I did it. That's so cool that I tied DCH. I'm so happy about that. I'm sorry, that's just so exciting to me. I might be a 40 set. I don't care. I'm doing another run anyway. I'm gonna PB multiple times in the next few weeks. I'm sure. And yeah, it's Noya is 11th with a 39.44. So it's just a few more seconds. And then I'm caught up there, but again, really... I should be getting... I should be able to beat Luka, like, any run. Do I want to start resetting on Mama Proxy? I shouldn't, but, like... That's a bunch of time that I'm just kind of throwing away by choosing not to reset. No, I'm not going to reset on that. I would drive myself crazy if I reset on that. I shouldn't need it to reach my goal. It would help, but I should be going way beyond that anyway. <clears throat> um, I need to pick one more album, and then I'm going to do one more run. I'm going to listen.